Hey Bat Babes, welcome back to my channel. Um, so, we're gonna dance. We're gonna talk about the light. We're gonna, we're gonna talk about this makeup look. And I wanted to start my Halloween looks, you know, with something fun, yeah, and something affordable. And I found this prosthetic transfer at my local Halloween store. It was around $15 and I found some scab blood and a bruise wheel so I figured what better way than to make an affordable look my first look so follow along and let's see what happens gonna go ahead and apologize for the horrible light situation I'm not fully set up in this room but I'm still doing the thing All right, so we're back at it. I had to take a quick break real quick and I'm setting back up my laptop so I can watch Futurama while I do this. Do, does anybody else like watch cartoons or something while they they get ready? Because I do and I don't, I don't know why I was dancing, but we did it. And now we're cutting out the prosthetic. I'm doing it. All right, sped you up just a little bit more here. I'm now figuring out where I want to put this on my face and putting it on my face. Pretty simple, right? All right. Now with the prosthetic transfers, it does say to wet them and to wait for 30 seconds. So there's me setting my timer and waiting and waiting and touching and waiting. Now I'm just going to take some uh, powder and put it over top of the prosthetic transfer and it's going to take away some of that shine and make it, you know, look less fake. Um, you don't have to do this if you don't want to if we, or if you don't have powder then um, you can use just setting powder or baby powder. Um, but yeah, you do you boo, you do you. Now I'm taking a sponge. Just a regular beauty sponge and I'm picking out pieces of the end of it. It's completely off screen because, you know, I suck, but I'm doing it. I'm doing the thing. I promise. You'll see. Now I'm taking the bruise wheel 
and I'm taking the end that I just picked out of the beauty sponge and I'm kind of like rubbing it in there so I can put it over top of my sores as you'll see in just a minute it's kind of gross I'm gonna do this a bunch of times with a bunch of different colors and sometimes you'll see me pat it out because I don't like how intense it is I'm trying to make them look irritated but I don't want to make it look like it's fake you know that's the point of this prosthetic transfer and this simple makeup is is effective but but gross and easy yeah Bet you wonder why I, why I smiled. My husband came into the room to hand me a paintbrush and to tell me that I look super gross. It was really sweet. Meh. Nah. Now I'm trying to show you this tiny ass paintbrush, but it won't come in focus, so just know it's a tiny ass paintbrush, because it is. Basically what I'm doing now is I took some cheap AF uh, scab blood that I got at the Walmart, and I'm just deepening these little pustule sacs and kind of spidering out a little bit to create veining. Um, my contacts are getting on my nerves, but yeah, that's, that's all I'm doing is just putting a little bit of stuff around the stuff to make it look more gross and, and veiny and gross.
now I'm just darkening, darkening, what words? I'm just darkening under my eyes, try to make me look a little bit more sickly and to blend out any harsh, harsh, God, I can't speak, edges that I see and, you know, just trying to make myself look overall gross. That's, that's the theme here is just gross. Now I'm gonna add just a smidge bit of Vaseline. Um, if I had KY, I probably would have done that because it would have been a little bit more gross. But I'm add a little bit of it to the top of the biggest pustule to make it real shiny and super gross. Super gross. Every gross. It's super gross. Now I'm just gonna take out the hair that I haven't washed in about a week and uh, kind of string it out a little bit, and I'm done. Oh. Oh, I'm so sick. Done face. Let's zoom in a little bit so you can see the absolute grossness. <laughs> yep. There you go. Thank you guys for watching. I do hope that you guys enjoy this. This is my first time actually putting myself out there and sticking to it. So be kind. Or don't. I mean, I'm not going to tell you what to do with your life. But either way, I hope that you hit that subscribe button. And I hope to see you again. See you on the third, my bat babes. Love you, bye.